I see a Mustang. I basically go ahead and get myself in position and get it out of the way and down the hill so I can further secure it. I'm just doing my job. Gotta love towing. <laughs> I'm going to quickly pull up ahead so I can uh, get this out of the way. When it comes with certain cars, especially some sports cars, the steering wheel doesn't always lock. So with this situation, I have to get in the car to confirm whether or not the steering wheel was locked. Yeah, I got to get in the car. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me your lock. I can't. Let me see your lock. I can't real quick. Here's the way. All right. Here you go. There's a dog in there, bro. Huh? It's a dog in here. Ah, oh, damn it. Why? It's a dog Who in here. Who leaves that dog on tangent in the freaking midnight of Atlanta? Man, it's a damn dog in that car. That's crazy. It's getting close to late night, and you're near a club. Why are you leaving your dog in the Mustang? The windows weren't even vented. Even though the dog had a little cute little sweater on, it, it, it's an upsetting situation. What do we do now? Um, we're gonna speak to the boss man and see what he say real quick. Uh, we got a dog. B, we got a dog. What we do about that? Let's take her off the property. Call, uh... Out the pound, you? Yeah. Oh! He said lock it down, call the pound. Okay, I'll stop it down. It's uh, 30 plus degrees outside. It's a small dog, super small dog. At this point, now we're going to rescue mission. The goal is to now get in this car. Since we noticed it, we're going to call animal control out here and just let them get the dog. Either that or maybe, just maybe, if the person's lucky enough who's the owner of the car, they'll run out here and go ahead and get the dog. We're about to find out. There you go. Easy. Oh, he's hard. Oh, Lord. So right now, we go to the gas station right across the street. We're going to call the animal control, take care of that, and impound the car. Let's get the pound on the phone, and we'll go from there. This is crazy, bro. Look at him. Oh, dang, man. That is animal cruelty. By now, we've had this car 20 minutes. Customer hadn't shown up. We've lost other impounds. So from there, I decided to make an effort to call uh, animal control. What's the kind of emergency service? I'm asking you. I'm Derek with High Tech Towing. We impounded a car, and it has a dog in it. What's the breed of the dog? Uh, it looks like a little puppy. Uh, I think it's a Yorkshire Terrier. I think it's a Yorkie. A Yorkie or something like that? B, head to the yard. Yard. All right. All right, well, we'll, we'll try to wait. OK. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. They're trying to reach out to somebody to come get it. So. OK. Because right now, we don't know who the owner is. This little small puppy in the car doesn't make sense. I'm pissed off right now. But... We have small dogs of our own and a cat, and you don't do animals like that. They're, they're not bred that way. I called my office, and they said that a gentleman had called about an impound and that they had a dog in the car. Tell him it's 175. He need to walk his next door. And tell him I'm going to piss off because he left his dog in the thing. We've been going there for over 30 minutes. All right, I got the dog owners coming. I don't know who this idiot is, but once he get here, I, I definitely want to give him a piece of my mind. This you, boss? This is my car right here. Okay. Bro, you got my dog in the car. No. Yeah, man. This is Don't worry about it, bro. No, no. Right. This dog is very expensive. All right. You can't do a dog like that, man. That's that's stupid. No, nah, what you no. say? Oh, what did what I say? I'm telling you. This we leave right now, bro. I don't give a about anything right now, dog. Bro, why are you walking in my face? Bro, like you I'm, I'm, you, I'm you, trying to help you right now, bro. You're not helping me. You in bro, my face. Bro, I'm helping back you right now. Up, bro, you want me to back the up? You. This car gone. Oh. So how the you want to do it? You bring the police out and everything else. I already got everybody involved. Come on, let's go. You going to take this from something else that they don't need to be? What the you want to do, bro? What the is you talking about? We're going to take care of that. And he act like he didn't care. But I just kind of lost it. I'm trying to deal with you right now. You being a bitch right now. And I'm trying to deal with you. So what do you bro, want to do? The, you bro, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't Who do that, are you bro. talking to, bro? Don't do that, bro. He wanted to bite back or whatever. What the is going on? You don't put your dog in danger. Your pet in danger. He just didn't understand. You don't do that. All right, man, how much money this is, bro? It's 175. You know, we calmed down, and he paid the, paid his route fee so he could be uh, reunited back with his pet. Oh, 
Pablo, sit. The dog name is Chance. He actually is in three movies right now. Look at him. Hey, baby. Why would you do this to him? He kidnapped him. Yeah. You good? Okay. Drop it down. Okay. We're blessing this guy. We didn't charge the guy you know, for taking the car to the shop. We just wanted to get this dog safe to its owner. Lesson yeah. learned to be for real, because I'm a grown ass man. Yeah. Make sure that you check your sources yeah. when you get your <laughs> car parked. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go park the right way next time. So hopefully by me giving him a piece of my mind, he'll think twice before he leave this, this little small dog, helpless dog in his car. We didn't get 50 plus cars, but Pet got to go home and, and not spend a night in the pound. So of course I'm proud of it. He's going home and we're good to go.